It's a screen that I created inside vMix, and it's for my podcast, uh, the TP Show podcast, uh, with Tick and the Professor. So on my desktop, the Professor created all the graphics, and he used Canva. And we have the paid version of Canva, which gives you alpha. Unfortunately, the background that he used, when you change something on top of it, uh, the background stays there. So when you try to do an alpha layer on the television screen, it actually just goes clear and then you see the background. So totally pointless. We went back to the old way, which is he just uses some crazy color and then I basically punch that crazy color out. Uh, so what I just did was I took all of the images into vmix with the colors on them and i'm going to pull up one at a time and punch the colors meaning use color key and select the color and you want to use anti-aliasing low uh, you can go to medium and you can go to high but when you zoom in you'll notice that with medium and high the line on the let on the edge and the lettering and stuff it doesn't go away quite as good as low believe it or not uh, so i use low uh, i've checked it that's the one that worked the best for me and then uh, that's all you do you just punch the color and then you go to the next one and the next one and the next one so that's all we're going to do right now is punch the color on each of these uh, and the way vmix is set up I can just come through and do all of these pretty quick uh, as far as punching the color. Boom, boom, boom. And you just get used to it. Now, the key or what we're doing here is we're using vMix as what I call the Swiss Army knife of audio, video, and computers. And what it's allowing me to do is to use the keying function of vMix to create alpha layer PNGs. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to save each of these images that I just went in and color punched, as I said, punch that color, anti-aliasing low. Okay, so now I have seven images ready to rock and roll. Uh, and what I do now is I just cut to each image. In the bottom right-hand corner of vMix, right here, is the ability to do a snapshot. I have programmed one of the buttons on my Akai APC Mini with the ability to do a snapshot using central control. So there is my central control on my computer and there's the function that I just triggered that saved the file into the spot that I needed it to save. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to save all of them and let's see how fast I can do it. I've done one and I've got six more to do. So here we go. So cut, 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 press button, cut, press button, cut, press button, cut, press button. So that took maybe, what, 25, 30 seconds? Uh, I didn't actually time it. So it took me longer to punch the pink out uh, of these images. And then, boom, there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they look white on screen. So what I will do is I will drag them back in to vMix. And here's the funny part. They look exactly the same as their pink counterparts when you're inside vMix. You can't tell that the first seven are pink and then the second seven are alpha. The only way that you can tell is if you go into the cog and then you see that there's a color key. If we go down to the bottom and we look at this one and now no color key, it's already punched. So there is a fast way to use Canva, just a basic version, use 
uh, very vibrant color. Make sure it's the exact same color, no gradient. On each of the sections that you want to do an alpha on, then you go into vMix, use the color key, punch that color out, and then do a save. And if you want to make it super fast, you basically program that button to work with, uh, with a snapshot. And that's where uh, central control came in for me because it made it super easy. I just execute the function and then from my uh, Akai Mini or anything, I could have done it from a Stream Deck or my Xbox controller because currently I have an Xbox controller, the Stream Deck, and the Akai all set up to do the show. Again, you could have used the keyboard. Let's go over to vMix real quick. Settings. Shortcuts. And then add. Uh, we are looking for snapshot. Snap. Yep, snapshot's right there. So you can just add it as a trigger. Now, here's the trick. You want the value of it to be uh the entire file path so let me copy my file path over here copy file path copy and it also has the name in it as well so i've named it with special characters you cannot use number sign to do incremental numbering uh and then that's it and i want to use the s key for snapshot and hit OK, and hit OK. Now, when I hit S, there is the snapshot that I just took. If you want to do the same thing, all you have to do is create a shortcut and then map snapshot to the right folder with a name that allows it to increment so we don't run into a problem. And that's it. And you can map actually multiple buttons and just press all of them at the same time. And why would you want to do multiple snapshots is that you can do snapshot input. So you could do a snapshot for the main screen, then you could do a snapshot for your cameras uh, and anything else. So like you could have three or four keys and just press them all at the same time and boom, you'll get three or four snapshots all at the same time. Super easy, uh, fun, and really quick actually. Now I am going to turn off the video.